guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Zima Tutorials. Zima Tutorials is an educational channel here on YouTube, on Facebook, and on TikTok. In today's video, we're going to continue our lessons on posting new past questions. I've been revising for same past questions of different universities, and I have lots of videos on general papers, on use of English, and on my second channel, Zima Tutorials Online School. I have many more videos there. So if you're not subscribed to the channel, please, I beg you, go and subscribe to the channel and watch the videos that I also have there because Zima Tutorials Online School is for every subject. Well, Dima tutorials is for use of English, okay, and literature. Today we're going to continue our lessons on posting, like I said. Now, before we go ahead, I wanted to read this screenshot that is on the screen, okay? That's why I said even if the um, university that we're going to consider today is not a prospecting university, it's still important to watch the video to the end because use of English is the same. I keep saying this in all of my videos, okay? From this testimony, okay, you can see that you don't need to wait for your prospective schools posting any past questions for you to prepare with, okay? Make sure you watch my older videos um, in every university, okay? Watch my older videos because use of English, like I said, is the same. So today we're going to continue with our lessons on posting any past questions. I'm going to look at Yabatech, okay? Yabatech posting past questions. Now we have, I selected some questions from your type for same past questions. Um, I selected some questions on emphatic stress. Now I already have videos on emphatic stress on this channel. So that's why I said use of English is the same. You can also prepare with your jump past questions. It's the same. Okay. So we're going to look at emphatic stress, the section on emphatic stress. Now what is emphatic stress? Okay. And emphatic stress is simply placement of emphasis on a particular word for clarity. Okay. Is the placement of emphasis on a particular word for clarity. Now, when you're about to answer questions on emphatic stress in your exams, the first thing you should do, okay, is to um, take note of the capitalized word, okay? Take note whether it's jam, whether it's was, okay, when you're, uh, when you're about to answer questions on emphatic stress, okay? Always take note of the capitalized word. Now, the first truth is that the capitalized word will not appear in the correct answer, okay? Any answer you're going to choose must not contain the capitalized word in emphatic stress, okay? It must not contain the capitalized word in emphatic stress. Let's take, for example, this first question. This is the question to which each of the given sentences is the appropriate answer, okay? Now, like I said, the essence of um, emphatic stress is to bring clarity. Now, when someone makes a sentence and emphasizes a word or stresses a word, it simply means that the person wants the listener to take note of the word, probably because he or she assumes that the listener did not get the word that he or she emphasized, that the person asking the question emphasized, okay? Let's take, for example, if I say, um, give me the pen, okay? And you ask me, if, um, did you say I should give you the bag? I'll say, no, give me the pen. Now, I will stress pen, I will emphasize pen, okay? Because that's the word you did not get in my um, demand or my statement, okay? Because that's the word did not get in my statement, which is why I emphasized it. Okay, now let's see this first question. Joker bakes fine cake. Joker bakes fine cake. Okay, we have option A. Now, the emphasized word is joker. Okay, joker. Now, we have option A. Who bakes fine cake? If I tell you joker bakes fine cake and you ask me who bakes fine cake, how will I say? I will say joker. Joke bakes fine cake. I will emphasize joke. Okay. Now for you to ask me who bakes fine cake, it means that you don't get the person that is not get the name of the person that I said bakes fine cake. So I will say joke. So option A is the correct answer because it will make me emphasize joke. Okay. Now option B does joke so fine dresses? Okay. Does joke so fine dresses? Now if I tell you joke bakes fine cake. I ask me, does Joke sew fine dresses? What will I say? I'll say no. Joke bakes fine cake. Okay, fine cake. Bakes fine cake. I'll emphasize bakes fine cake. Okay, because that's what you do not get. So that's the same thing with the rest of the options. What type of cake does Joke bake? Okay, I'll emphasize fine. Fine, okay, so it's not the correct answer. We have to choose the option that will make me emphasize joke because joke is the emphasized word, okay? Does joke eat fine cake? I'll say no. Joke bakes with emphasis on bakes, not eat bakes. So joke, so the correct answer, so the correct answer is option A, okay? 
Option A, who bakes fine cake? Who bakes fine cake? Because it implies that you do not hear the name Joke, which is why you're asking me who bakes fine cake. Now, let's see another question. Still on empathic stress, okay? The book is on the table. The book is on the table. Now, the first science word here is on. On. Now, we have option A. Where is the book? B, is the bag on the table? Is the book on the shelf? Um, what is on the table? Okay, now let's see the one that is the correct answer. Where is the book? Okay, now if I tell you that the book is on the table, I ask me where is the book? What will I say? I will say on the table, okay? I will tell you on, on the table, okay? On the table. So option A is still the correct answer here. Now option B is the bag on the table. Now, if you ask me, is the bag on the table? I will say no, the book, I will emphasize book. Is the book on the shelf? I will emphasize table, okay? What is on the table? I will say the book, but the emphasize word is on, not the book. So, option, option A is the correct answer, okay? Now, the last one we're gonna consider on emphasis stress. John gave me a blue pen. John gave me a blue pen. We have, did John give me an exercise book? Who gave me a blue pen? Did John give me a black pen? Did John, did I give John a blue pen? This, now I believe we should be able to answer this question, okay? Did John give me an exercise? Go like say, if, um, if I say that John gave me a blue pen, I ask me, did John give me an exercise? Well, what would my response? I'll say, no, blue pen, okay? Blue pen, that will make me emphasize pen. And is not correct. Okay. Now, who gave me who gave me a blue pen? I'll say John. John. Okay. So it's not correct. Did John give me Did John give me a black pen? This is the correct answer. I'll say no. John gave me a blue pen. I will emphasize blue. Okay. Did I give John a blue pen? Okay. Did I give John a blue pen? I will say no. Okay. John gave me a blue pen. I will emphasize me, okay? So the correct answer here is option C. Option C, did John give me a black pen? Remember I said the correct answer must not contain, must not contain the, um, the emphasized word. That's very important. And it should make you emphasize the um, capitalized word, okay? Just imagine someone making the statement to you and you're asking the person any of these questions. Look for the answer that will make the person, okay, to emphasize the capitalized word while replying you, okay? So that's just the trick of answering questions on emphatic stress. Very simple. Now, the next one is, still on oral English, okay? Now, you have the sound, er, uh, er, uh, okay? You have to choose the option that contains the given phonetic symbol, okay? Choose the option that contains the given phonetic symbol. We have er, uh, er, uh, okay, er. Uh. Option A, we have search. B, we have fear. D, C, we have dear. And D, we have bed. Okay. Now, which one is the correct answer? Now, I have a book where I discuss the tips that will help you understand how to answer questions on oral English. And it's still yet to be published. Okay. So, when I publish it, I'll let you guys know. Now, um, for this sound, uh, now you find this sound, uh, where you have you are between two between two consonants, I R between two consonants, E R between two consonants, E A R at the beginning of a word, a monosyllabic word, E A R at the beginning of a monosyllabic word, okay? For example, earth, earl, earn, okay? Um, e A R between two consonants, okay? E A R in a monosyllabic word that occurs between two consonants. E-A-R between two consonants in a monosyllabic word, okay? E-A-R between two consonants in a monosyllabic word. For example, heard, heard, search, learn, okay? Now, these words contain E-A-R between two consonants, okay? And only two words that do not follow this guide are beard and heart, heart. H E A R T, okay? Those are the only words that do not follow this pattern, okay? But when you have E A R between two consonants, um, the E A R is usually pronounced er. Uh, it contains this sound, er, uh, er, uh, okay? It says in bed and heart, okay? Words like um, shirt, 
church, um, herb, etc. Okay, these words contain uh, so the correct answer is option A, search. Option B, we have fear. Okay, fear here is pronounced the E A R here is pronounced ear. Okay, ear. Um, option C, we have the. Okay, uh, option D, obviously, is not the correct answer. It contains a bed, so it's not the correct answer. Now, let's see the next question. We have s s option A, we have cake, which is wrong. Option B, we have sight. Okay, this is the correct answer. The C in sight is pronounced s. So option B is correct. Option C we have shoe, which is which is incorrect. Option C we have shoe, which is incorrect. Option D we have choke, which is also incorrect. Okay. Now the next question we have R R R. Okay. Option Option A we have bat. Now R is long is a long vowel sound because of the two dots beside this. Okay. Actually, we have bat, which is wrong because the A in bat contains the short R sound, okay? It contains R sound, okay? It contains R sound, the short R sound. Cat, the same thing, okay? Option C is the correct answer. Heart, heart, heart. I just mentioned it, okay? It contains E A R between two consonants, but it's not pronounced R. It's pronounced R, R, R. It contains a long R sound. So option C is the correct answer. Option D, choke, is also incorrect, okay? Option D, choke, is obviously incorrect, okay? So the correct answer, like I said, is option C, heart, heart, okay? Option C, heart. All right, guys, that'll be all for today. Please make sure you watch the videos. I want you guys to... Um, really do well in your position me okay so you can recommend my channel you can recommend the math tutorials everywhere and you can also remember me um when you gain admission as one of those who have to do well in your exams okay that's the essence of the whole thing to help you pass your exams and unlock new academic levels that's the essence of the whole thing okay so i need you to click on the subscribe button on this channel if you're not subscribed already because it's very important so that you can always get notified each time i upload a new video and i also want you to do me a favor i know you guys are getting admission this year okay and you have friends younger ones who will need the videos okay especially the video on demo tutorials online school so i need you also to go to demo tutorials online school do me the favor of subscribing to it okay i have videos there too educational videos there too because demo tutorials online school is for every subject like i said so i have videos there please go to the Go to the other channel. Okay, the link is at the comment section and in the description box. Please use the link to visit the other channel and click on the subscribe button. Okay, thank you very much for watching. I will see you guys again very soon.